Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have added either a list box or a digital signature field to a form, you can double click the field to either open the list box properties or digital signature properties dialog boxes respectively. You can use the tabs that appear within these dialog boxes to set the appearance and functionality of the selected form field. You can then click the close button within the associated dialog box to apply the settings. In this lesson, you will learn how to set the properties on the selection change tab for the list box fields, as well as the signed tab for digital signature fields within their respective dialog boxes. These two tabs will only appear within the associated dialog boxes for the specific types of fields mentioned. You can click the selection change tab within the list properties dialog box to choose what action should be taken when a user interactively selects a choice within the list box in the form. You can select the do nothing option button, which is the default behavior to take no action when the user makes a selection. To execute a custom JavaScript when the user makes a selection, choose the execute this script option button instead. Then click the adjacent edit button to open the JavaScript editor dialog box. You can type a JavaScript into the large white text field shown here, or copy and paste a JavaScript into the text field. Then click the OK button when finished. You can then click the Close button in the List Box Properties dialog box when you're finished. You can click the Signed tab that appears within the Digital Signature Properties dialog box to choose what action should be taken after a user digitally signs a digital signature field within the form. You can select the Nothing Happens When Signed option button, which is the default behavior, to take no action when the user signs the digital signature field. To have fields within the form become read-only after a user signs the form, select the Mark as Read-Only option button. Then select which fields to mark as read-only from the adjacent drop-down, All Fields, All Fields Except These, or Just These Fields. If you select either of the last two options mentioned, then click the Pick button to open the Field Selection dialog box. Then click the checkboxes to place a checkmark next to the names of the fields you want to exclude from or include as being marked as read-only, depending on which choice you selected in the drop-down. Then click the OK button to return to the Digital Signature Properties dialog box. To execute a custom JavaScript after the user signs a Digital Signature field, choose the This Script Executes When Field is Signed option button. Then click the Adjacent Edit button to open the JavaScript Editor dialog box. You can type a JavaScript into the large white text field shown here or copy and paste a JavaScript into this text field. Then click the OK button when finished. You can then click the Close button in the Digital Signature Properties dialog box when finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.